Hello and welcome to this new series of videos. This time we're going to do something like this. So let's get started. Press Shift A, Mesh Plane. Go to the plane settings, change the rotation X to 90. Period on your number pad. Tap to go to edit mode. Right click, subdivide, and change the number to 21. Now we need to make some selections. Select this one by pressing Alt click. Skip the next one. And then select the other one by pressing Shift, Alt click. And so on. We need to select every other edge. Like this. Until we finish everything. And you will be having something like this. Now press 7 on your number pad, press G and Y, and move these edges around this area, to have something like this. Press Alt click on this area to select that edge, then go to Vertex Group, click on the plus icon to add a new one, click Assign, and then change the name, something like Pin. Press 3 to go to Faces, I'll click on this area, select this one, press P, Selection. Now you have two objects, one here and the other one there. I'm going to change these names, this one will be Curtains Control 01. And the other one will be curtains 01. Now right click on the outliner right here and select new. Right click again, new, and the last one, new. Now I'm going to change the names. The first one will be main. The second one will be the control area. The third one will be the curtains. And the last one will be for the objects. Now let's move this curtains control to the control area and the curtains to curtains collection. Select the curtains 01, go to constraint, child of, and select the curtains control 01 to have something like this. Now we just need to press N, rotation to zero, and we'll be having something like that. Now if you move the one on the top, you will be moving everything. Let's now move this curtains control in Z axis to 1.0764. Select the curtains collection, right click instance to scene. With that instance selected, go to the viewport, right click, mirror, X global. One on your number pad, press G and X on the curtains control one and as you can see everything is moving at the same time and the other one is moving on the opposite direction select the main curtains or one press shift d to create a copy then press g y and type minus 2.5 and change the name this is going to be o2 With that second object selected, you need to go to the constraint and delete the child of constraint. If you have something like this, we just need to make some changes. The first one will be the X rotation to 90. The second one will be the Y at 2.5, the Y location and the Z location to 1. Now we just need to press G, X and move it. And we'll be ending with something like that. Select the curtains 01 again. Shift D to create a copy. Change the name. This will be 03. Then select the curtains control 01. Shift D to create a copy. Also change the name to that one. Two, I'm gonna name this one O3. 
then we need to go to constraint child of and change that control to the curtains control O3. Now let's press G, Y, and type 5 to have something like that. Select the curtains control O1, tap to go to edit mode, press 2 for edge selection, select this edge right here. Now press Shift S and select cursor to select it. After you do that, you need to tap to go back to object mode, then go to pivot point and change that to 3D cursor. So now if you hit SX, you will be moving these controls and the curtains at the same time. With that curtains control selected, let's go to object properties, add a keyframe to the location X and scale X. Move your timeline until 24. Then press SX on the viewport and reduce it a little bit like that. Then add a keyframe. Let's move to 48 in the timeline and do it again. SX and something like that. Make a keyframe for both of these. Now go to the timeline, select the keyframe that is in the middle. Move your timeline a little bit like that, then right click on it, copy. Right click again, paste. And now we'll be having two close to each other. The animation will be like this. Select the curtains control O3, tap to go to edit mode 2 for edge selection. Then select that area right there. Shift S cursor to select. And also you need to be sure that your pivot point is in 3D cursor. Tap to go back to object mode and check if everything is working. Select the curtains control O3 and the curtains O3. Press tab to go to edit mode. And then we need to select the edges like these ones right here by pressing shift alt and then select now press 7 on your number path g y and reduce this distance like so okay we'll be having something like this now select the curtains control o3 only go to object properties and add a keyframe to location x and scale x and i'm going to make a small animation more than the timeline around 15 s x reduce it a little bit not that much and then add the keyframes for the one in the middle we need to create a cane or staff so the first thing that we need to do is press in shift s cursor to world origin then go to the pivot point and make sure you are in median point. Press Shift A, curve, path. Press Shift H to hide everything but the path. Tap to go to edit mode, 7 on your number path. And then let's move this until we create the shape of a cane or a staff. Let's move it like this, point by point. I'm going to select these two and make a subdivision, right click. Adjust that one, this one, then select this three, right click, subdivide, select those ones, move it in Y by pressing G Y, and adjust that one right there. Once you're happy with the shape, can now go to object data properties over the curve geometry bevel and change the bevel not that much it will it will depend on you something like that
Once you're happy with the shape, tap to go to object mode, go to object, convert to mesh from curb. Now let's put a name on it. It could be cane or stuff. Let's put this inside the curtains collection. I'll press G, X, I'll move it a little bit. Press Alt H to unhide everything. Select this stuff again. Press G, Y, move it a little bit close to that one. Let's make some adjustments. G, X, like that. Then move it up by pressing G, Z, around there. Then we just need to adjust the shape a little bit. And also, let me move this really close to each other. Let's change the rotation in Y by pressing R, Y. Like so. Move it up. G, C. G, X and G, Y to move it. And I'm going to leave it like that. Next, we need an animation. So let's go to Object Properties. Put a keyframe to location X. Then move it a little bit on your timeline. And add a new keyframe. Around this place. Move it like that. And click on the keyframe. At this point, it's a good idea to save your file. So let's go to File, Save. Select the Curtains 01. Tap to go to Edit Mode. Select one of the edges or vertices right here in this area. Period on your number pad to go all the way there. Now in here, we need to select this area by pressing Alt, Click. With that area selected, press E, Y, and extrude around 0 0.003. Just a small one. Do it again, but it will be around 0 0.004. And you will be having something like this. Now press 3 on your keyboard. Press Alt click right here to select that area. Go to Vertex Group. Click on the plus icon, click Assign, and change the name. I'm going to call this one Particles. Tap to go back to Object Mode, go to Modifier, Add Modifier, Particle System. I'm going to change the name, and let's go to the Particle, change the names also. And let's change from a meter to hair. Let's change some settings. The first one will be to go to vertex group density and select the one that says particles. Let's go back to a mission and change it to around 3500. And the hair length 2.11. Go to hair dynamics, turn it on. Open it and change the quality steps to 7. Let's go to render, change the steps also to 7. And the viewport display also to 7 at the stand steps, strand steps. Now finally go to children, simple. Let's make some adjustments. The display will be 25, also in render. The length will be 0.5. And let's go to radius 0 0.005. Let's go down to kink. Change the type to braid. Change the amplitude to 0 0.006. The frequency to 6. And the shape to 0 0.999. If we go closer, we'll be see something different. If you want to make any adjustments, you could do it. There's no problem about it. Remember that this depends on you.
this is all about your imagination and this is just a basic a basic way to do it because I want more control over the hair I'm going to create a path by pressing shift 8 curve path rotate that one in 90 degrees in Y change the name to particle control over to the controls area then press shift H to solo that one tap to go to edit mode select the ones that are in the middle X dissolve vertices and now we only have the one at the top and the one in the bottom tap to go back to object mode press N go to dimensions and change it to 0.11 now press GY and move it around there just to have it away from the main area I'm gonna put it closer to the curtains with that curve selected we need to go to physics force field and change the type to curve guide we will leave it like that now let's go to modifier cloth move the cloth modifier all the way up go to the physics tab cloth presets silk change the vertex mass to 0.25 go down to shape pin group and select the one that says pin now let's go to collision and turn on self collisions change the distance to 0.001 and enter now right click on it shade smooth go back to modifier and add a subdivision modifier change it to two and change to simple let's see what we have okay we have the first curtain working we're gonna leave the video right here and I will see you on the next part. Bye.